So I was sitting here doing that thing that everybody loves doing to find great, great, great content, which is check out the YouTube trending tab. And to my surprise, or kind of not surprise, Jeffree Star is number one on trending. And I got some questions about that. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul, all right? So there has been just so, so, so much talk about the trending tab lately. Um, ever since Coffee Break did his video on the trending tab, and don't worry, like I'm not gonna dive deep, deep, deep in depth like he did, he did an excellent video on it. And I've had my own thoughts and opinions on the trending tab. And what I showed you in the intro, I'll show you again real quick. Like I'm thinking about doing a video kind of in response to Coffee Break, just my opinions about the, the trending tab, and I don't know. But anyways, like as you can see, like. Nobody looks at the trending tab. Like no normal YouTube viewer looks at the trending tab. Like it is kind of cool, I will say this, like it is cool seeing a creator that you love or that you watch like when you click on their video and you see that it's on trending. Like I don't know what Danny Gonzalez did in the last like six months, but that fool is consistently trending whenever he uploads. And that's awesome because I love me some Danny Gonzalez, all right? But anyways, the trending tab, from what people try to, you know, explain about it, the only thing that really makes logical sense is that the YouTube trending tab is curated. There's some evidence of that. It is curated. This means that some sector of YouTube is picking and choosing what goes up on the YouTube trending tab. And this is the most like family friendly content. These are the creators that they like to show to advertisers and hey, bring in your money. now. Ever since the James Charles controversy, we haven't seen James Charles on the trending tab, but he's also not creating content. But anyways, the last video or two James Charles did make before the controversy, he was not on the trending tab. So I figured because of some of the other little miniature controversies that were going on before the Tati Westbrook thing came out, I was like, okay, this makes sense. YouTube probably isn't gonna put James Charles on trending until all this stuff gets sorted out. And that makes sense. Now, a lot of you, when you read the title of this video, or even right now, you're probably like, hey, Chris, you know why Jeffree Star is on the trending tab? It's because he has freaking Shane Dawson in the video with him, all right? And yeah, that makes sense. J uh, Shane Dawson is one of the biggest creators. Whenever he drops a video, we're talking like tens of millions of views. It is absolutely bananas. But I wanted to discuss this because I made a video about Tana Mojo two to three weeks ago. And I titled it, It Must Be Nice to Be Tana Mojo. And what I was discussing was just being able, like being in a position to just be able to just do some messed up things and face little to no repercussions is kind of bananas, all right? So I do wanna make it clear, like in no way, shape or form do I think Jeffree Star should be canceled, but I do think it says a lot about us as a, a, a community, like seeing what does or doesn't happen to people, all right? So just out of curiosity, since all of the Tati Westbrook, James Charles, Jeffree Star stuff died down, I check out their numbers. I check out their numbers. And ever since James Charles came back and made his video, Tati Westbrook and Jeffree Star started losing subscribers. Now, as soon as Jeffree Star uploaded his video, which he originally said was gonna be a video exposing everything, all of the receipts after he called James Charles a liar, and all these things, right? When Jeffree Star uploaded that video, there was nothing there. He decided to take the high road and he was not going to do that. Hey guys, so something that I do as a YouTube creator to improve my search engine optimization is I check out the tags and the keywords that another creator is using. So I just wanna throw this in here because as I was editing, I found this. It's pretty interesting because Jeffree Star, even though he's trying to move past all of the drama with James Charles and Tati Westbrook, he is still using James Charles, Tati Westbrook, as well as the Dolan twins 
in his keywords so he will be viewed or recommended when people are looking up this stuff. I just thought that was pretty interesting. Well, ever since then, Tati Westbrook is still losing subscribers and Jeffree Star is on his way back up. Now, he is not gaining the amount of subscribers that he was, but he is still on the way up and now he's on YouTube's uh, number one and trending page. Now, if I had to look at this situation as a whole, looking at what happened to James Charles in this entire situation, like what Tati Westbrook did, like all of it, as we saw, was way, 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 way blown out of proportion. But like, if I was looking at this like on a scale of one to 10, what Tati Westbrook did was like, maybe like a four. She was basically saying like, listen, James Charles is a bad friend. She did mention the predatory thing, right? So, okay, we'll, we'll move Tati Westbrook up to like a six, all right? Based on that. But like, when you look what Jeffree Star did, that ish was at like a nine or 10. Okay, like I don't know if you forgot, but here's the clip of James Charles saying what Jeffree Star sent to him. And by the time I was about to hit publish, I received yet another text from Jeffree Star. I've already cleared up Sam and our night together being 100% consensual. He was absolutely not trapped in a hotel room, but Jeffree also brings up Zach. Zach is his boyfriend, Nate's brother. And not only did I not pursue Zach, who identifies as mainly straight, but it was actually Jeffrey who suggested that I talk to him in the first place. I really want to read this text out loud just so you all get to hear exactly what I had to read, um, but also so I don't miss anything. Grayson is going on camera shortly to finally tell the world how you tried to molest him and touch him in his sleep and made him uncomfortable for months, you sick motherfucker. Next, Zach will be going on camera to tell how twisted and sick you were, trying to get him to like you and then make him feel bad when he didn't want to send you photos back. Then Sam from Seattle will be joining me and Cameron to talk about you trapping him in his hotel room. You need to be locked in prison for a very long time. You need the internet taken away from you. You are a danger to society. Adding insult to injury, not only did Jeffrey text me, but he also went out of his way to text my best friend, Drew, this lovely message, trying to turn him against me. Aside from that, aside from that, because James Charles actually released that information, but aside from that, there were plenty of tweets that Jeffree Star put out into the world, just into the world, accusing James Charles of being a danger to society, okay? And it just, it kind of hurts my soul just seeing somebody face pretty much no repercussions for that action. Like, that is like such a serious allegation. That's why when all this stuff was popping off, like I was like, okay, yo, James Charles, egomaniac, bad friend, cool, right? But to accuse somebody, accuse somebody of the things that Jeffree Star was, that is extreme. But everybody just like forgets that. Everybody's just like, okay, that's cool. And don't get me wrong, we all have to forgive, we all have to move on, but there is there is kind of this like karmic justice, right? That that we look for. Like you do something bad, you 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 have some repercussions. But when we look at this, this whole situation, it really doesn't seem like Jeffree Star faced any repercussions. And you know, Shane Dawson is an awesome creator, everybody loves him, universally loved. But it's also interesting to me too, just how when all this started popping off, you know, and sure there's probably some stuff behind the scenes going on, but Shane Dawson was, you know, there with Tati, you know, obviously he's friends with Jeffrey. And then we come to find out that a lot of stuff about James Charles was blown out of proportion. And something that more and more creators have talked about since this all kind of ended with James Charles video that he released, like a lot of the stuff that Jeffrey Star was accusing James Charles of, was just hearsay. Like it was just him hearing this from various sources and it doesn't sound like there was any proof or evidence of these claims. So I don't know, it's just really interesting to me how YouTube has taken a creator like Jeffree Star and they're consistently putting him on the trending page and he's still making millions upon millions upon millions of dollars from all of his products. He lost no friends in this situation. He's pretty much back even if not gaining subscribers. Like he didn't lose that much from the serious allegations that he made against James Charles. So I guess the question is like, what's the solution? 
what is the solution? I think we all need to just look at ourselves and look at who we're supporting, why we're supporting them, why do we let some things go but other things not? Like, I'm really confused, not completely confused, but it's how Tati Westbrook is still just tanking in subscribers, but she did not make anywhere near the serious allegations that somebody like Jeffree Star did. You know what I mean? So it's just something that I, I kind of had on my mind after I saw that he was number one on trending, but I would love to hear from all of you. Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Um, I would like to hear if I'm just crazy, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, support what I'm doing here and get access to some other perks and benefits, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there. All right? Thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.